Hello guys, so I thought I'd do a, just a little small debate video if I think that um, Big Finish is taking over the Doctor Who fandom. Let's see. <laughs> continue this video I just want to point out I don't hate Big Finish right I absolutely adore Big Finish I think Big Finish is probably one of the best things that's ever happened to Doctor Who in terms of its expanding universe I have actually got many audios from Big Finish actually being this as one of my favorites um Terra Firma you know a part of the eight Doctor adventures um but yeah so yeah, I love Big Finish, um, so I'm just going to basically explain my history with Big Finish before I start going on to the main topic, so I'll try to stay on topic as quickly as possible, where, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, got a cough, um, so yeah, um, so my history with Big Finish is I had no idea what it was a couple of years ago, it would have been about 2013, early 2014, I had finally discovered what Big Finish was, and I found out that it was basically like an expanded version of Doctor Who. Personally, I always saw it as canon, like I never once thought, oh, is this canon, this is not canon, because obviously I didn't really care, because, you know, for me, what what's Doctor Who is Doctor Who, no matter what, if, if it's been given its canonology or not. I accept whatever is Doctor Who is Doctor Who. Like, if something has Doctor Who in it, for me it's Doctor Who. So it's the same with the comics, it's the same with the books. If it ha look, if it says Doctor Who on it, it's Doctor Who. I mean, like, I don't care if it doesn't work in canonical ways of the TV show. I see it as Doctor Who. I see it as something that has happened. Doesn't necessarily mean it has to get referred to in the show constantly. Well, most of the time. But yeah, so I discovered Big Finish through the 8th Doctor because I had found out that the 8th Doctor actually had proper adventures um, which Big Finish were making, which I applause. But on the topic that I want to go on to is that is stuff like this with Big Finish, is Big Finish taking over the Doctor Who fandom? Because I'm not sure about anybody else. I mean, I just want to talk to you guys as you know, as the viewer, such as myself. Now, obviously, I am a Doctor Who fan, like many others. Um, I just want to talk, you know, where's the freedom gone? Is it is it just me that's feeling that there's no freedom in the Doctor Who fandom anymore? Like, you know, don't you just miss, you know, theorising things, you know, making up your own version of what happened? I just feel that Big Finish seems to be getting rid of that freedom. I just feel like as a Doctor Who fan, I can't, you know, think of my own version of what happened. I feel like it's being forced into my head by Big Finish, sort of going, no, in between this era and this era, this is what happened, and this is what this character did, and this is what this character did. Like, where's the mystery of the show gone? Like, there's, like, no mystery. It's called Doctor Who. Like, that is, like, the biggest question. That's meant to, so, which meanly means that Doctor Who should be a mystery. I feel we don't have that with Doctor Who anymore. You know, we're getting really pointless big finish releases at the moment. You know, we had um, stuff such as um, the Winston Churchill um, spin-off. Like, I'm not being funny, but who the bloody hell would want that? Like, no, off no, no offence to the actor, because I think the actor's superb, but... I personally don't get why anyone would need that, like why that necessarily couldn't have been explained in the show, or why fans couldn't leave it. Yes, we got that the Doctor and Winston Churchill had met before on many occasions, but did that necessarily need to be pointed or explained about? No. I mean, I liked that mystery because it made me think, oh, maybe Winston met the classic Doctors, but that's kind of got rid of that. My theory is kind of thrown out the window now because of that um and then we're just getting just loads of stuff you obviously like stuff with the war doctor like only the monstrous and that second audio box set which i've completely forgotten the name of i just feel that the war doctor 
what I think it was kind of a positive thing that the War Doctor has been given a series. However, I can't help but feel that him getting that box set is kind of made me think that the War Doctor isn't as big of a deal. Like, we're told that this War Doctor is a dark, evil killer. You know, he's not the Doctor, but... And I kind of like that. I kind of liked the fact, oh, we don't know what this Doctor did, who he killed, who he met. Well, you know, we don't know anything. I liked that, because I was like, oh, okay, so we're getting a bit more mystery back into the show. But I just feel like, big finish, yeah, I, I know that Nicholas Briggs is only trying to help us as fans to understand the fandom a bit better by, you know, not having so many gaps in the show with its plot holes. But I just feel that the mystery, it, it, it's not there anymore, it's, it's gone. And from what I've been told about the War Doctor box set, is that it's no, like, the Doctor's no different to any Doctor. He does pretty much what any Doctor would do in that situation. So, I feel that when the Doctor's being treated as this big, bad, warrior type figure, and we're not actually, we didn't see it on screen, and we're not hearing it on audio, then I think, what is the actual point? I mean, surely Stephen Moffat, or surely the Doctor Who, like, in general, would have thought, maybe we should leave it for the fans. It's the same with me. I think making Big Finish canon was a good move. I think it really was. But I'm starting to think it's not necessarily the best move anymore. Because I just feel like Big Finish is just making stuff for the sake of just branding it as Doctor Who. It's like Big Finish are just going, right, we'll literally just make absolutely everything just to say that, look, this is Doctor Who. You have to get this because it is Doctor Who. You know, we're getting the 10th Doctor box set. We're getting the Doctors meeting new series monsters soon. We're getting the War Doctor. We've also got, like, the unit spin-off. We're getting Torchwood. I just feel that at the moment it's, it's a little bit much. I think Big Finish has become way too mainstream. Because what I liked about the Big Finish was that, you know, I completely agree. I mean, not many people were aware of it, but I kind of missed that. I just feel it's come a bit mainstream, like the show itself. And I just feel that it's it's taken over the fandom. Like, there's no mystery anymore. It's like, it's not just Big Finish, though, because, you know, we, like nowadays we're getting, you know, we're getting audios, we're getting books, we're getting comics, Titan comics. You're getting all these different things, and it's really hard to sort of go, but is this canon? But is this classed as canon? I personally think that Big Finish is canon, but yet, you look at all these adventures, and you sort of feel like, so you're telling me that this Doctor done all of this in their era. They met the Daleks so, so many times. It's kind of hard to keep track with, you know, what Doctor did what. But when I think of the Seventh Doctor, you know, I think, you know, survival, etc, etc. I couldn't sit there and list literally every episode he's actually performed as a Doctor. Because I'd be there forever. So, I just feel that, yeah, big finish. Like, what are you doing? Like, I want the show to have its freedom back. I want it as more of a fan-based thing. Because I miss the discussions that I used to sit there with my friends going, Oh, well, I think this happened, or, well, I think this happened. But now it's almost like, with Big Finish, it's just thrown in your face going, no, actually, this happened at this point in time, da 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 And I think that this is going to continue. Like, we've even got the Tenth Doctor box set, which I don't see why that's being made. Like, it's just being made for the sake of it being made, just to bring more fans in. Whereas, surely, if you're going to do that, you'd make the Doctor the Doctor's character a bit darker, a bit more toned down, instead of just keeping it the same. And I just feel with the Eighth Doctor at the moment, it's all starting to become a bit samey from what I've been hearing. Like, I just feel that it's all a bit samey, and it's Big Finish is drifting a bit. I am starting to lose interest in Big Finish, because I just feel that we're not really getting anything new. We're just getting stuff for the sake of other people to catch up, which I don't think is very fair. Um, I, I don't see why you've got to get all this new stuff to bring more people in, because people like myself, 
you know, yeah, you're getting unit extension, you had the Winston Churchill box set, you're getting a diver and stuff. I don't really give two hoots about that. I couldn't give a monkeys about those stuff. I just want, you know, what Big Finish used to do. Just have normal stories. I don't want, oh, this big box set's coming out, this big thing's coming out. No! I mean, yeah, I'm happy that it's got the new series license, but if you're going to do anything, Big Finish, I want a Ninth Doctor box set, and I'm sure all of us want a Ninth Doctor box set. Actually, use this thing as something worthwhile. Like, the amount of things you could do with, you know, the series of Big Finish audios, and you're just doing stuff for the sake of it. Like, stop making these pointless spin-offs, and actually do something which is actually going to make us go, Oh my god. Now I, now I get it, I, I, I understand it. Or, and then just leave a little bit of mystery there. Because I think it's a real shame, really, because I think the War Doctor could have been a Doctor which we could have heard a bit less about. And I personally would have preferred the War Doctor in book form, because I think the Engines of War is a fantastic piece, and I think it probably betrays the War Doctor much better than Big Finish. But that is my opinion, so I don't expect people to follow that. But yeah, I mean, please do comment down below if that's what any of you guys as fans are thinking. Do you feel that the Doctor Who fandom isn't really getting its freedom? It's not getting, you know, it's just like it's being catalogued as, you know, this is what you've got to follow on. And do you think that it's affected the hiatus? Does it make you feel like, oh, I can't, I can't even, like, take a break from the fandom because there's so much I've got to catch up on, there's like this, this and this, where do I go, where do I start, please comment down below if just a casual viewer, because that's what I'm here to do, I'm not here to rant, I'm just here to have a general discussion, um, but yeah, thank you for watching, hopefully I will do a different video soon, no idea what it will be, but yeah, I just thought that would be a nice discussion to just talk about, but thank you very much, and bye.